Greetings legends, Miriam here, community manager at Spacetime Games, here to show you the latest and greatest going on in the Spacetime community. As you know, it's Halloween in Arcane Legends, and we've had so much fun planning all the tricks, treats, and more for you. Our event's running really strong with more players than we've ever had active in an event before. Our leaderboard runners never cease to amaze us with their dedication, so I hope you'll all join me in cheering on our top rogue for the moment, Melissa's, Top Mage, Goblin, and Top Warrior, Arbor. These guys run day and night to make sure that they stay on top of those leaderboards. And the prizes are well worth it. Check out these awesome Halloween vanities that we created just for the event. Our forum users have been getting in the Halloween spirit too. A few of them went off screen and created some of the most legendary jack lanterns I've ever seen. Check out Dead Rock's masterpiece, including five different AL themed pumpkins with faces I'm sure you'll recognize. Axam got creative using a watermelon, a bell pepper, and a D legged action figure to recreate the new flaming pumpkin head vanity and your favorite pumpkin pet human. And last but not least, Baron B was inspired by himself. He created a life size version of his mage, complete with pumpkin head vanity and the Christmas tree vanity outfit, all topped off with a pair of little blue mage hands and a custom banner. Amazing job! For more community spooks, make sure to take an in-game detour to the Necropolis Graveyard. Interact with the gravestones to see the winning entries from last month's Take It to the Grave Epitaph contest, where forerunners got to write the tombstone inscriptions for some of the most well-known Arborian bosses and NPCs. Halloween is just the beginning with us. Everyone knows that as soon as the Halloween costumes hit the shelves, people start preparing for the holiday. And we're no exception. Hot on the Tales of Halloween will be releasing the Planar Tombs, the awesome new counterpart to the recently released Planar Arena. The new tombs will offer new challenges, bosses, and everyone's favorite, new gear. Also, get ready for a brand new quest chain that's going to have you searching the halls of the tombs and the arena if you want to get your hands on the newest mythic item. The mythic amulet. Shortly after that, we'll be kicking off the winter a bit in style with some new faces and the return of some familiar ones. I won't give away too much yet, but I do love a good sneak peek. Here's a look at the beginning of the new Winter City Hub. Can you guess where we're going with this one? Give us your best guesses in the comments below. Our forum community, the most active way to meet and talk to players outside of the game, is alive and kicking. And I can't wait to show you some of the most awesome stuff that our forum members created last night. Nash Chiri from Arcane Legends wrote an animated and original story about two rogue princesses. You'll want to watch the whole thing to find out what happens. Check out the link in the description below to go to Nash Chiri's channel and watch the whole thing. For anyone who's been wanting to try out Twinking and Pocket Legends, Kaz Tori took this month's Pocket Legend Community Spotlight for his guide to Bear Twinkie at level 15. Sans from the Dark Legends community has built an entire toolbox online for making your Dark Legends experience even better. You can visit his website, Open Source Vamp, to try out respects for your character, find executions, and learn where to find specific fans. The fan art for the homepage is pretty awesome too. And finally, in Star Legends, veteran player Jay Blazer has created a, an updated guide to avoiding those pesky scammers in Star Legends. He'll make sure you never get duped into losing those valuable items again. Thanks, Jay Blazer. Read the description below to find links to all of this month's Community Spotlight winners. And now for the part you have all been waiting for. You've been submitting your most pressing questions to the Space Time forums, and Sam Hain and I are here to answer. Here are some of the top questions from the forums this month. Ian and Hesh says, To Remy, I'm just curious. Staring and typing in a gaming company, I would say that all or most of its people would usually be male. How did a girl like you end up at STS? I know, girls in the game industry are still pretty rare, right? But our population is growing, and fast. I'm actually one of six women here at Space Time Games, which is about 10% of the whole company. And we've got one thing in common serious passion for games. And that's how I landed my job here. Well, that and a solid resume. But you might be surprised to know that even though I'm a minority in the game industry, a whopping 61% of community managers, like me, are female. 
Germans asks, what's going on with this new Legends title? I heard something about it a long time ago. And actually, Germans, the new game we're working on isn't even part of the Legends franchise. And no, it's not a battles game either. The new game is something totally different. Different than anything we've ever done before. The game is still in development, but I can tell you from having participated in a few of the playtests that it's going to be one of our best games yet. You guys are going to love it. Aiden Hush also had a question for Sandy. On the Arcane Legends game, I see that most of your characters are sorcerers. What are the plans to buff the Squishy's class so that it would meet the other end of the stick against the other classes? Alright, well, sorcerers. I personally like to play sorcerers because I like classes that have some finesse. I also like to play support, so I usually set up my uh, sorcerer with fireball with all the knockdown, wind to knock down guys, the clock to uh, root guys, and then uh, also heal because, you know, it's pretty good there, especially restore your rogues and mana. Um, so that's why I play them. Um, I wouldn't necessarily take that as an indication of Sam plays Sorcerer, so they should be the best. Um, balance, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. So, you know, what one person might think is needs some work is some other people might not. Um, that being said, there probably are some issues with Sorcerers that the team wants to get some time to look at. Um, right now, we're kind of up against a, a hard deadline. We're working really hard on making winter awesome and packing a lot of awesome into that. Um, and that just takes time to do. Um, and we're committed to getting the winter event out. Um, you guys all have fun with it in December. So uh, maybe after the first of the year, we might have some time to look at balance stuff. We might be able to work some stuff in, um, but it's not on the short term roadmap right now. Jensen would like to know can we test new things using the test server again? So yes, the test server is awesome and we love it in that you guys can play it and find bugs and we can fix them before it goes live. And that just makes a better experience for everyone all around. And we love better experience. As I have mentioned before or have talked about, um, we're really working and packing a lot of awesome into the winter event and we think you guys are gonna love that. But what that means is, is we're spending all of our time doing winter stuff. And it doesn't leave a lot of time for the team to get um, either the planar tombs or the winter event itself out on the public test server to play it, find stuff, and then go live. Um, we do have a good QA cycle in there, so we think it's going to be pretty good um, without the test server. But I would look for more stuff on the public test server after the first year. Question for both of us comes from Concord. How did you guys make up your usernames? Does it come from something? Is there a meaning to it? Or is it totally random? I'll actually let Sam hang over us on this one since his story is so cool. My username. So as some of you may know, um, my real name is not Sam Hain. It's just a handle that I have used um, online and mostly with shooter games in the past. Um, in other games that I've worked on, I've been known as Sam Hain before. Um, the ghouls, if you really want to cyberstalk me, you can. Um, but where it came from originally uh, is from a character, kind of a villain character. He was the um, Buccaneers' den de facto leader in Ultima 9. It was called Sam Hain with that particular spelling. Um, and that was the inspiration for me to use it in, I think, Day of Defeat back in the day when I was playing that game. Um, and then I've used it in shooter games since then. So if you get pwned in World of Tanks or Day of Defeat or Planet Side 2, that's probably me pwning you. And mine was actually submitted by a community member, Cerulean. Back when I started at STS in December last year, my name was Moderator13. Not very original, right? So I ran a contest about a month in where players could submit names and I would choose one. Remium is actually a hidden temple in my favorite game of all time, Final Fantasy X. I love the name, adopted it as my own, and the rest is history. Helicopter wants to know, have you ever met any Space Time Games players in real life? And I'm assuming you don't mean the friends and family that I dragged in to play with me. So no, surprisingly I haven't. A lot of people have told me that they've come through Austin in their travels, but I have yet to meet one in person. I'm getting pretty excited though, because actually in January, I'll be down in San Antonio, Pax South, where I'll be doing a community meetup, and you're all invited. So next time you ask me this question, I'll be able to give you a big, fat, happy, Yes. Last question, and a good one going into the end of the year. Prince wants to know, what kind of generalized content do you have planned for Arcane Legends in 2015? 
All right, 2015, the next year coming up. And are we there yet already? It's only October, last I checked. Anyway, um, everybody always wants to know what's cool and what's new and what's coming, and I totally get that. And we have plans, we've got wide range of stuff, um, and we're working on a lot of great things. But really my modus operandi has always been to under-promise and try and over-deliver. It's not always easily done, but it's a good goal to have. And so with that in mind, um, I really don't want to talk about anything beyond the winter event. We've got uh, Planar Tombs coming out in November after Halloween is done. And then we have the winter event for December. And then once we roll into January, we'll be talking about the new year. So you can have lots of stuff to look forward to. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining us. And remember, like and subscribe to our channel for more updates, teasers, and of course, your favorite neighborhood review with more FaceTime with FaceTime. In the meantime, you can find me in the forums at spacetimegames.com, where we meet every day to talk all things FaceTime games. See you next time.